Hey, welcome back to the CJ Nerf channel, everybody. Today, we're gonna find out which is the best Nerf Mega Pistol. Stay tuned. So guys, keep in mind that this list is how I view these Nerf Mega Pistols and your views might be totally different. So I'm really curious to hear what you think. If you have a different list or would switch some things around, drop it in the comment section, let me know. And one last thing before we get into this list, don't forget to check the cards that are gonna pop up from time to time in the video, because I'm curious to know what your favorite Nerf Mega Blaster is. That's a cool way for you to vote and tell me which one you like. And then finally, if you guys enjoy this video and only if you enjoy it, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button because it lets me know that I'm making the type of content that you're interested in seeing. Let's roll. Let's quickly take a look at our competitors for this event. We have the Nerf Mega, Tri-Brake, Magnus, Hot Shock, Big Shock, and of course, the Cyclone Shock. Okay guys, the 2016 Hot Shock with a price tag of $9.99 comes in fifth place here. It has one shot capacity with one dart storage up on top. The Prime is extremely easy for younger nerfers, but part of the downfall of this blaster, it is the weakest shooting blaster out of all five of the entries. The fact that this blaster only shoots 58 feet per second in stock form is really what brings it down. In my opinion, there are only two reasons why you might want the Hot Shock. So listen up parents. One, if you like to mod, this is a great platform and design and look of the blaster to go ahead and play around with. You can improve the performance of this blaster quite easily, but if you're looking to get it in stock form, this is not the blaster for you. Now, second reason is, if you're a parent of a younger child and you want a blaster that's actually not gonna shoot too hard out of the box, this might be perfect for you because it does only shoot 58 feet per second, Nerf averages around 70 to 72 feet per second, so you can see the dramatic drop in this blaster right out of the box. This is one of the harder blasters to find. This was released at stores like Big Lots, so it never really made the transitional appearances in like Toys R Us, Walmart, or Target. So you could probably find it on Amazon, not sure what the price tag is there, but this is one of the harder blasters to find out of the Nerf Mega line. In at number four is the gimmicky new release here in 2018, the Nerf Mega Tri-Break. It is the gimmicky, why I say that? Because when you push this button, this is how you make the front break apart so you can actually load the darts here. I did put one Busby Mega Dart to show compatibility as well as two Nerf darts. This blaster actually retails for $14.99 and it shoots in at an average of about 66 feet per second in stock form. Keep in mind from the top barrel as it shoots its way down, it does lose power. But overall, it's a pretty solid offering. It's just kinda, if you like the gimmick of this. And it's kinda cool. It has one sling mount down here and a tactical rail up on top. I mean, honestly, the tri brakes fun to use. It's kinda cool. The gimmick is sorta okay. I mean, I can see how a kid could have some fun with it. I do also see how it could break after some rough play. What's really truly holding the tri brake back is honestly the next three blasters. Even though the next three models are two to three years older than this one, they actually were a very solid platforms and you'll see why in a minute. And in number three is one of two Nerf Mega Pistols that were released in 2015, the Big Shock. The Big Shot actually retails for $7.99. It primes the same way as the Tri-Brake here from underneath the grip assembly. It has a one-shot capacity and a one-shot for storage. And honestly, it just doesn't really fire that hard with the Mega Darts. It fires at an average of 55 feet per second, which is kind of right in line with what the Hot Shock does. Here's the beauty of this blaster and why it's so high on the list. With a simple kit that you can buy, which is what this is attached to from Worker, it's a sleeve insert that slides right into this blaster in like two seconds and allows you to fire elite darts. And once you do that simple conversion, now you're shooting at 80 feet per second without changing anything inside the blaster. So 
counting the $7.99 initial investment and then adding a little bit more for the worker sleeve that you would use to insert in the front, you actually double the abilities of the blaster and crank up the power to 80 feet per second. What's not to like? In at number two is the oldest pistol in the Nerf Mega Series. It was released in 2014 with an average retail of $14.99. And before we get any further, guys, you can find this pistol for cheaper. I found it for $5 at Walmart on specials around Christmas. So good grief. Second one on the list and you can get for as low as $5 if you just wait till certain times of the year. Man, that's a winner in my book. It has a three round capacity internal magazine, which you just pop in through here. It fires extremely hard at 78 feet per second out of the box. This may be a little bit harder for younger nerfers to prime. You just simply pull back. And if that doesn't look like the cop's gun in RoboCop, I don't know what does. It's just really, really an overall really solid pistol. I love pretty much everything about it. And oh, I even forgot to mention, if you don't like the red version, it comes in three more different versions. Let me show you. Not only does it have all of that going on for it, it also is compatible with Busby, Mega Darts, in case you have a ton of those laying around. So honestly, from being built back in 2014, man, this thing is still a really good go-to pistol in the Nerf Mega line. Well, time to reveal our number one selection. All right, guys, looking at my number one entry, it's not only my favorite Nerf Mega Pistol, it's actually one of my favorite Nerf Mega Blasters in the entire series, and that's the Mega Cyclone Shock. Absolutely love this blaster. It average retails for $19.99. It was released the same year as the Big Shock. That was 2015, just a reminder. It has a tactical rail up on top, a nice top slide uh, for the priming. Shoots pretty hard, 71 feet per second in stock form with the Mega Darts. And overall, it's just a souped up, aggressive looking strong arm in the Mega Series, and I love it. I love everything about it. And guys, if that wasn't enough to convince you the Cyclone Shock was the best pistol in the Mega Series, take a look at this. Go ahead and get you the Worker Sleeve Attachment Kit, and you can actually shoot Elite Darts from the Mega Cyclone Shock. And let me tell you something, once you insert these sleeves, it literally takes less than two minutes to do. Your power is now at 94 feet per second in stock form without even changing a spring. I mean, come on, that's awesome, guys. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> 